Hey there, coding enthusiasts. Ever thought about the thrilling ride of a roller coaster and how it relates to Python? Let's dive in. Today, we're going to talk about loops and iterations. And trust me, it's going to be as exciting as riding a roller coaster. First, let's talk about loops. If you've written a roller coaster, you know that exciting moment when you go through a loop. That's kind of what a loop is in Python. It's a section of code that repeats itself. Then there's the for loop. Picture the most intense roller coaster you've ever seen with several loops. That's our for loop. It's a loop that runs a set number of times, just like a roller coaster goes through those loops. A for loop in Python is like going on a roller coaster ride with a fixed number of loops. You're buckled in and you know exactly how many loops are coming up. No surprises. That's where the range function steps in. It's like the sign at the start of the ride that says, hold on for 10 thrilling loops. In code, it looks something like this for RC in range 0 to 11 where RC stands for roller coaster. So if we go crazy and want to loop our ride 100 times, we can do that easily by simply writing for RC in range 0 to 101. Let's look at an imaginary example. If we want to paint a rainbow on our 8x8 matrix, we can write for call in range 0 to 8, then we assign each row to a different color of the rainbow, represented by the capital initial letter of the color name. And then we paint a whole row at a time without us having to fill out each individual pixel one by one. That sure saves us a lot of time. How about half of a rainbow? Can you guess what the two numbers should be inside of our range function? Yes, it's 0 and 4. And when things get really wild, we've got nested for loops. It's almost like a double-decker roller coaster and simply means a loop inside another loop. Imagine a small roller coaster running loops inside a larger ro roller coaster. Sounds crazy, right? We use nested for loops when we need to perform repeated actions within another repeated action. Let's look at another imaginary example. If we want to paint the first four rows red on the canvas of our 8x8 matrix, we can write for row in range 0 to 8. Then inside that row range we just defined, we want to select the columns we want to color in. So for call in range 0 to 8. Now, can you guess the rest of the code? Yes, we simply need one more line of code to paint all four rows instead of using 32 lines to paint each single pixel. Now, that seriously saved us some time, time we all need to have more fun coding. Finally, let's talk about iterations. It's like one complete ride on the roller coaster from the start all the way back to the start again. In Python, an iteration is one full cycle of a loop. So ready to jump into the roller coaster ride of loops and iterations? Let's get started and bring this Python fun to life. It's time to use our imagination coders. Imagine you're the boss of an amusement park and you have a Python powered roller coaster at your disposal. How would you use Python loops and iterations to give your writers an unforgettable experience? For example, I'd use a loop to repeat a specific thrilling segment of the ride, like a loop the loop or a steep drop based on the writer's cheers. Each cheer would trigger another iteration of the thrill segment and your roller coaster. What crazy and exciting features would you program into it with Python loops and iterations? Wow, we've really covered quite a bit. Let's hit the brakes and do a quick recap. First, we learned about loops. Think of them like a roller coaster ride. They let us repeat parts of our code over and over again, much like going around the roller coaster track again and again. Then we moved on to for loops, the control freaks of the loop family. These guys need to know exactly how many times they're going around the track. That's where our trusty range function comes in. It sets the number of laps for our for loop. Next up, nested loops. These are like loops within loops or a roller coaster within a roller coaster. Sounds thrilling, right? They let us perform loops for each item in another loop. And lastly, we looked at iterations. Remember, every round on a roller coaster track is an iteration. It's each individual ride through the loop. Did you get all that? Great, keep practicing. Congrats, you're one more step towards mastering the magic of Python. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be looping like a Python pro. All right, we've come to the end of today's lesson, future programmers. If you're excited to learn more, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating Python journeys. Also, don't forget to check out the Imagi app and Imagi Charms, your fun coding buddies that make learning to code a breeze. Keep practicing, keep coding, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Until then, happy coding.